Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about Greek philosophers and the atomos. This will be the second quarter topic, week 1, day 1, and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to understand Democritus and John Dalton's idea of the atom. The second one is to engage in collaborative discussions to share their insights and clarify any misconceptions about the nature of particles and their behavior. And the third one is to appreciate their contribution in the realization of the components of matter by answering the activity number one which is the atom from Greeks to Dalton. For the short review, the students will label the diagram below using the words in the word bank. For another short review, the students will answer the following questions. For the first question, how are particles arranged in solid, liquid, and gas? For the solid, the arrangement is regular arrangement, while the liquid is close together and random, while gas is far apart and random. For the second question, how do the particles move in solid, liquid, and gas? For the solid, the particles move in vibrate at fixed position. In liquid, the particles move in move randomly and can flow around each other. And in gas, the particles move in fast in all directions. For the third question, what happens to the movement and attraction of particles when the temperature increases? So the particles move faster due to an increase in their energy, overcoming the attraction among them in the process. For the lesson purpose, the students will accomplish the activity titled Cut it until you make it. And for the materials are the sea source, colored piece of paper. And for the instruction, fold the paper in half, then cut along the center fold. Take half of the paper, fold it again in half, and cut it again along the fold. Do this repeatedly until it is difficult to cut. Once the students can no longer cut the paper, ask them the following questions. The first guide question is how can you describe the last piece of paper you are holding? The second one is how can you compare it to the original size of the paper? For unlocking of content area vocabulary, present these new terms to students and explain their definition. So the first word is the word atom. So atom is the basic unit of matter. The next word is the word nucleus. Nucleus is the center of the atom. And another word that need to explain is the word subatomic. Subatomic is smaller than the atom. Another word that need to unlock is the word electron. So electron, it is a negatively charged subatomic particles. And another word that needs to unlock is the word protons. Protons is a positively charged subatomic particles. And the last word that needs to explain is the word neutrons. Neutron is a neutral subatomic particles. For the explicitation, the students will answer the following guide questions. For the first question, how do you define particles? 
particles are the tiny, discrete units that make up all matter in the universe. They are the fundamental building blocks of the physical world. For the second guide question, what are the example of particles? The example of particles include the atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, protons, neutrons, and even larger structure like dust, pollen, and sand grains. And for the third guide question, what do you call the smallest particle? The smallest particle, known as the subatomic particles, such as the electrons, protons, and neutrons. These particles are considered the fundamental constituents of atoms, which are the smallest unit of an element that can still retain its chemical properties. For the work example, the students will accomplish the activity 1, which is all about the atom, from Greeks to Dalton. And for the objectives, at the end of the activity, the students are expected to, first is to know who Democritus and John Dalton are. The second is to understand Democritus and John Dalton's idea of the atom. And the last one is to appreciate their contribution in the realization of the components of matter. For the instructions, first is to know Democritus and John Dalton by reading their profiles provided as reading materials in this section. The second one is to compare their ideas of the atom based on the given information and conduct additional research about the scientist and their description of the atom if necessary. And the third one is to answer the guide questions and present answers to the class. Democritus was born in Russian town of Abdera early in the 5th century BC. He was the son of a rich man who was able to provide him with good education. After his father died, he traveled in the east and studied under various masters. Despite being depicted as a sad old man in the 18th century, engraving he was known as the laughing philosopher Jude to his emphasis on cheerfulness. He is said to have written 72 books with topics ranging from mathematics, biology, literature, astronomy, agriculture, ethics, and poetry, but none of which survive. He is the first philosopher who reduced that Milky Way was the light of stars. His principal contribution to philosophy was his development of the concept of the atom. First proposed by his teacher, Leo Sepos, his theory was based on deduction and observation rather than experiment. The following are the Democritus description of an atom in the 5th century. So the first one is everything is made of smallest, invisible, and indivisible particles called atoms. And atoms cannot be destroyed. The second one is atoms have existed in motion forever and will remain in motion forever. And the third one is that objects we can see are made of aggregations of link atoms. For the first guide question, draw a representation of Democritus' idea of an atom. So atoms are the smallest invisible and indivisible particles that make up everything. And atoms cannot be destroyed and have existed in motion forever, will remain in motion forever. For the second guide question, why do you think Democritus' idea of the atom was disregarded? Who influenced this movement? 
So Democritus' atomic theory was disregarded because it lacked experimental evidence to support it. It was also overshadowed by the contrasting views of Aristotle, who was a highly influential philosopher at that time. So Aristotle dismissed the idea of atoms and promoted a different philosophical approach, which led to Democritus' ideas being largely ignored for centuries. For the third guide question, cite other views related to matter which prevailed during the time of ancient Greeks. So other prevalent views on the nature of matter during the ancient Greek period included the Aristotle's four element theory. So Aristotle proposed that all matter was composed of four fundamental elements such as earth, air, fire, and water. Other prevalent views on the nature of matter during the ancient Greek period included the Pythagorean view. So the Pythagoreans believed that the fundamental nature of reality was mathematical with numbers and geometric forms underlying the structure of the universe and matter. Other prevalent views on the nature of matter during the ancient Greek period included the Empedocles theory of four roots. So Empedocles suggested that all matter was composed of four roots or elements. These are the earth, air, fire, and water which were combined and separated by the forces of love and strife. Now let's tackle about the John Dalton's profile. So John Dalton is an English chemist, mathematician, and philosopher. He was the son of the English waiver from Eaglesfield in Cumbria. His limited formal education does not limit him due to his innate curiosity and sharp mind. Dalton was criticized for being uninterested experimented who lacked both the language and the visual impact of his illustration. He was fond of lone bowling on Thursday afternoons. He provided the basic descriptions of atom and molecules that serves as the fundamental modern chemistry until today. It was this work that made him one of the first two recipients of the Royal Medal, a prestigious award presented annually by the Royal Society for the most important contribution to the achievements of natural knowledge in 1826. Aside from the atomic theory, he he also formulated several gas laws and gave the first detailed description of the color blindness. The following are the Dalton's atomic theory in 1807. So matter is made up of atoms that are indivisible and indestructible. The second one is all atoms of an element are identical. The third one is atoms of different elements have different weights and different chemical properties. The fourth one is atoms of different elements combined in simple whole numbers to form compounds. And the last Last one is that atoms cannot be created or destroyed when the compound decomposes the atom are recovered and changed. For the first guide question, draw a model of the atom based on John Dalton's description of the atom. So according to John Dalton's atomic theory, atoms are indivisible, solid, and spherical particles. Atoms of the same element are identical, while some atoms of different elements have different properties. And atoms cannot be created, divided, or destroyed. For the second guide question, what are the similarities of Democritus and Dalton's view on atoms? So both Democritus and John Dalton shared some key similarities in their perspective of the nature of atoms when it comes to indivisibility of atoms. So Democritus believed that atoms were the smallest, invisible, and indivisible particles that make up all matter, while Dalton also described atoms as indivisible, solid, and spherical particles that could not be created, divided, or destroyed. 
For the third guide question, how does the description of an atom differ between the Dalton and Democritus? So the first one is when it comes to the size and nature of atoms. So Democritus described atoms as the smallest, invisible, and indivisible particles that make up all matter, while Dalton viewed atoms as invisible and indivisible solid and spherical particles. The second one is when it comes to the composition and the structure. So for Democritus, atoms have existed in motion forever and will remain in motion forever. While Dalton believes that atoms of the same elements are identical, while atoms of different elements have different properties. And the third one is the role of atoms in matter. So Democritus stated that the objects we can see are made up of aggregations of link atoms, while Dalton proposed that atoms combined in simple whole number ratios to form compounds.